Kia ora, I'm Kurt Buchanan. I am a diploma student here at Equipus College and I am proud to be Māori. Hi, my name is Carol and I am a first year Equipus Bible College student. Kia ora, my name is Balen Paraha. I am a first year at Equipus College and I am proud to say that I am Māori. Um, so my ethnicity is Korean. I moved to New Zealand when I was eight years old from South Korea with my family and I'm still quite well connected to my culture. I'm not proud to say it but I don't have much awareness of Māori culture. So for a long time uh, growing up I was uh, very disconnected from who I was as Māori. Uh, there was even a time where I was uh, ashamed to, to be Māori. Um, and so at the moment, currently, I'm on a journey of reconnecting to that, um, not just for me, but for my kids as well. During this experience, the one thing that I'm really hoping to get out of it is just um, a sort of confidence in myself as a Māori and also as a Christian at the same time, and really just putting those practices and upholding the Māori values that I hold so dearly to my heart. One of the things that God's been speaking to me about is connecting with like Māori culture because obviously although I've lived in New Zealand I don't think I really realise the significance of the land and how that actually connects to me and my cultural identity. Something that stood out to me uh, has just been, uh, just being reminded of the beauty in our culture. There was a point when we were talking about Te Whare Tapawha where I um, had this realisation that culture actually does come under Te Whare Tapawha and if you choose to neglect it, that also affects the other four walls um, of your holistic health. Uh, it was really cool uh, last night at the House of Misfit session, uh, just hearing people uh, speak about their journey and finding themselves within their culture. I think it was during Isaac's one where I felt the most, like, uh, I can see a reflection of my story in that story as well. Um, and I think that's actually the one where I had that revelation of like, oh, they can be intertwined, culture and religion. Culture is everything to do with my identity, but I never really thought, that could really influence my faith? Definitely during ministry, um, there were things that helped form and shape what I thought Māori culture was. Um, most of them were all negative. Those things came to the surface. Um, I felt like God really identified those things to me um, and helped me to almost quiet, quieten down those, those things that I had held as truths for a long time. I feel like during the entire session, there was kind of like, a Pākehā lens that I had on my culture was actually sort of just removed and I sort of just saw it for what it was and what God and for what God intended it to be. I would say it's definitely helped build me as um, a Christian but also as a Māori as well, especially a young Māori. Because I'm the first Christian in my family, I never really had that spiritual whakapapa. I could never really have that conversation with anyone, but also really honoured that God will choose me to start that in our family. He really spoke to me about my identity and how God has made me uniquely Korean and Kiwi and how that is actually going to influence me for my purpose and what He has called me to do. Yeah, so on the back of Nuhu Marae, um, I'm actually really excited to continue the journey, to not just do that for me, um, but for the sake of my kids as well, uh, to make sure that what happened to me through my previous generations, just losing contact with our um, culture doesn't then happen to my kids. I really feel like I'm going to let more of my um, inner Māori shine through more. Um, through everything that I do, I'm going to let it reflect um, just the same way as I let Jesus' actions and words flow through me. So yeah, I'm really excited to, to continue this journey after Nohumarai, after this beautiful weekend. Ake, 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 ake.